Hello, Vinny here. I've been doing a lot of change around Firestar recently, but this video will cover a more specific subject, a flocking AI algorithm. Flocking is that behavior birds exhibit when in groups or flocks. This behavior is quite easy to reproduce by implementing an algorithm called BOIDS. A BOID stands for Birdoid Object or Bird-like Object. Each BOID follows three basic rules which result in the flocking behavior. Here's how it works. Like a bird, a BOID is not aware of all its flockmates, only the ones close enough. The BOID then uses the state of its local flockmates to calculate its movement using the three rules. By following the separation rule, the BOID steers to avoid crowding local flockmates. With the alignment rule, it steers towards the average heading of local flockmates, keeping the local group aligned. Finally, the cohesion rule steers towards the center of mass of the local flockmates, giving this smooth and unpredictable change in direction. On top of these basic rules, you can also implement more complex rules like collision avoidance and goal seeking. So let me show you now how I implemented these in Godot. As always, there is a link in the description with the source code for this example, so you don't need to bother with all the details if you don't want to. Also, in the description there is a link to another BOIDs example in Godot. It's not that different from what I've done here, but it has the extra feature of goal seeking. To be honest, I even stole their separation rule implementation, because the first one I had implemented was too hacky. So I set up the project, there's basically a collider around the screen, so the BOIDs don't fly away, and also a simple logic to add a BOID every time I click. My BOID is a kinematic body 2D. I created a simple sprite so we can tell which direction it's heading to. It has a collision shape and also an area 2D, which I use to detect local flockmates. I started by implementing a basic BOID without the free rules. Here's a dark secret. I didn't really implement collision avoidance, because this would mean extra math. What I did instead is letting the BOID collide and then inverting the direction based on the collision. This basic implementation also has the code for keeping track of local flockmates, but it's not using it yet. The first rule I implemented was separation. In my example, each BOID stays at least 20 pixels apart. I iterate over local flockmates and calculate the resulting movement. This sweet formula here is the one that I copied from the other example, as I told you. Ok, now let's go to the second role, alignment. In this role, I need to align the BOID with its local flockmates. That's actually the simplest rule to implement. I just need to sum the heading from all local flockmates and divide by the number of local flockmates. Things are looking cooler already. To implement cohesion, I sum all local flockmates' positions. Then I get the average by dividing by the number of flockmates, and then calculating the right movement required to move towards the center of mass. As I said, you can find the source code for this example in my GitHub, link in the description. After coding the script, I created a new enemy to use it, and it worked quite well. Eventually, I had to make it move slower, otherwise it was just too hard to dodge it. There are a few things that can be improved in this implementation, such as real speed and acceleration. Currently, my boards move in a constant speed. I didn't bother implementing controlled speed because I don't really need it. Also, I'm not really sure what would be the performance with thousands of boards. I've been using flocks between 50 and 100 boards with no problems, though. I'm pretty sure I could have lived without it, but this was kind of fun and I, it actually just took me around one and a half hours to implement the script. So effectively, it took me more time to put this video together than to implement the code for it. Thanks for watching, till next time.